Well, it's crazy to see that mm -hmm. snow out there. I mean, I'm telling you, I think we were all just taken aback by it. Yeah, it's usually that first one of the season. You're like, oh, wow. Yeah. Like, we're here now. It's it's November, I guess. Yeah, but then, then by February, <laughs> usually you're like, oh, yeah, snow. Then we're over it. Yeah. Of course, some years we don't really get any. I mean, it's just kind of. Very that, true. That, we're in that part of the country. It, it can happen a lot. It's or very we, hit or miss. Yeah, we don't have a year. We have a year where we don't get much. So <laughs> let's go ahead and see what we're dealing with right now. Right now, not a whole lot going on across the central United States. That storm system from last night, uh, you can see that's up in portions of uh, the Midwest. You can see that they're uh, north of Louisville. They're near Columbus, back to the west from there into Indiana and Illinois. That's moving away. Uh, cold weather in its wake, high pressure in control, and we're watching our next system that's getting its act together out west. It doesn't look like much right now, but by the time it gets here, it'll look a lot more impressive uh, as far as precipitation is concerned. It'll have a lot more to work with. Today, tomorrow, quiet. As we head towards Monday, that's when things start to change, especially early Monday uh, through uh, Monday night. That's when most of that will move through. It'll start off as rain, eventually transition to maybe a mix or some snow. Uh, minor travel impacts possible, but that doesn't look like a huge deal. Temperatures, as you'll see in a bit, are going to be a, a, an issue for that. 29 right now in Tulsa, 28 in Bartlesville, 35 down in Wilburton. Things warming up nicely down to the south. Feels like we're in the teens and 20s, so you'll certainly want to bundle up. So here's future view for us. Mid 40s, low 40s today, so cool but nice. Tonight, cold down into the 20s. Into our day tomorrow, we'll see south winds return. That'll effectively warm us back up into the upper 40s and low 50s. Clouds increase Monday morning. That storm system moves in from the west. Temperatures around freezing as we move through the day. We'll see those uh, make it into the upper 30s to low 40s. That system will move through and we'll see that chance for that change over to a mix or some snow. But notice temperatures above freezing, ground still pretty warm. So even if somebody gets an inch or two in some locations, which there could be a band like that set up somewhere, it would likely just be on grassy surfaces and maybe briefly slushy on the roadways, but it would improve pretty quickly uh, with this type of deal. And then Tuesday morning, waking up around 30 or so and then into the 40s. I think clouds a bit overdone there on Tuesday. I think we'll clear out as we head into Tuesday afternoon. We're cleared out right now. Lots of sunshine. Tulsa, downtown, looking good. 29, though, not feeling good. Northwest breeze there at 7. And as we take a look at precipitation outlook, once again, very likely on Monday, another weak front comes through late Friday. Friday into Saturday and then another system early that following so a fairly active pattern we just want to see how this one pans out before we kind of move on to those next couple precipitation totals rainfall totals look to be pretty light out of this generally less than half an inch maybe southeast Oklahoma up around an inch of a uh, liquid precipitation once you know, whatever happens is melted all down uh, but all in all not looking too bad there on rain totals and then temperatures really stay pretty chilly all the rest of the week so if you were hoping for a warm-up I don't have it for you and even going into next weekend uh, not so much it's going to stay cold and it looks like that period of time will be generally drier than normal but I think once we get beyond this period I think that's when we'll start to see some warmer temperatures return. So after about 10 days of some pretty chilly stuff, I think we'll finally start to see things kind of turn around early, not this week, but the following week. I think we'll see things uh, start to improve. In the meantime, we're going to be chilly this weekend. Tomorrow, not too bad. And then lots of rain, some snow, a mix on Monday, and then that gets out of here and we stay cool for the rest of the week. Once again, as we get more details, uh, we'll be gathering a lot, of, a lot of fickle information with this type of setup. So we'll know more by tonight.